Welcome back to another video. Uh, a little bit different, again, like I said, I've been doing so much more different things than I've, than I've been doing in the past, mainly because that's kind of what I want to do right now. Anyway, I want to throw up a quick video for today. If you're kind of a video nerd or if you're into stats and, and things of that nature, uh, this is probably going to be somewhat interesting for you. If you're not, then see you in the next one. Probably a blog, hopefully a blog, or maybe some film stuff. I don't know yet, but for right now, quick video, what I want to do is, I've been having a little bit of issues with the uh, YouTube compression algorithm. I have uploaded 4K videos before and seen somewhat noticeable improvement in quality. I've been exporting higher bitrate videos and uploading those at 1080p and seeing minimal improvements in quality. The most recent video that I posted this past Thursday, I believe. I used my standard, the standard Premiere Pro uh, 1080p YouTube settings and uploaded it. Renders super quick, renders in like two to five minutes, but compression results aren't the greatest once they're up on YouTube. But then again, they probably are. I'm probably just overthinking things. This is probably my brain just overdoing things like it tends to do sometimes. What I want to try for right now is I'm going to export this video at 1080p, just the standard. Premiere Pro export YouTube settings. And then I'm gonna do the same exact video, 4K at standard YouTube settings, just straight out of the box, Premiere Pro media encoder YouTube settings. Uh, no no extra encoding bits on there or anything like that. Um, just to see what the difference in compression is. Cause I know when you upload a 4K video, it triggers a slightly better encoding setting than versus 1080p. But then again, it might not even matter. It, it honestly probably doesn't matter. I just want to see what happens and I want to see for myself because I've been reading on forums and on Reddit, same thing, that uh, you uploading in 4K no matter what, even if you just up res your 1080p footage, gets you slightly better compression results. And if you're like me and you're into that kind of stuff and you want to know more about it, then you know, something like this is interesting. But if not, then again, see you in another video, vlog, film video, something soon, I know. But for now, this is what we're doing. So just to kind of recap, I'm gonna upload this same video twice. So it's gonna look weird on my timeline. You're probably gonna get two pop-ups if you're subscribed. If you're not, then my goodness, you picked a weird video to jump in on. One video, uploaded twice, 1080p standard media encoder export for YouTube. Same video again in 4K, up res 1080p, standard 4K media encoder YouTube upload settings, or YouTube settings. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and then we're gonna see just how compression looks. Other than that, that's, that's, that's it for today's video. I'm not really gonna do too much. I'm just very interested to see if there's anything uh, noticeable in the compression on YouTube's end versus you know the export settings. Because I've done a couple videos each way, I don't have a good base. Like there's no good comparison between two videos because sometimes I had the videos lit differently or sometimes I was outside a lot more so that it wasn't too much of the uh, dark areas versus the light areas. I'm pretty interested to, to see personally so this is more of a video for me. If you're interested again then cool. All right guys that's gonna be it for today. Uh, I'm interested to see the results. If you're interested in this kind of stuff let me know and if you have any questions about these kind of compression settings and whatnot, I will be happy to share the small amount of knowledge that I have. I don't have a lot, I'm not an expert or anything like that, it's just stuff that I've been picking up over the past few weeks, over the past few months, on how YouTube's compression algorithm kind of works. Everyone, most, most people are just kind of guessing, but it's still interesting to me nonetheless. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, I will see you soon. As I think a vlog, probably a vlog, probably a vlog and then I'm looking at my film camera because I really need to go shoot some film so either a f like, may my, maybe a film vlog we'll see okay, okay I gotta go like share subscribe I will see you soon okay bye